Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Maury's Piers in Wildwood, New Jersey. This is a park I have not been to in a long time. I think you've been here in a while either, right? Not since like freshman year of college, which is a very long time ago. Yeah, I was like a sophomore in high school, I think, and I was like a young like enthusiast. Shut up. <laughs> they have added two new roller coasters since I've been here, and I've never been to this park at night. As you can see here, uh, the sun is already going down, and so uh, we're going to be getting some night rides tonight. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. This is a great park at night, and obviously, like, I got a little nostalgia because I grew up in Ocean City, which is, you know, right up the road. So, yeah. I'm excited to be back here and to ride some roller coasters that were probably among my first ever. So, yeah. This would be cool to see what I think of them now after riding a couple hundred more. I feel like this is one of those parks that is not, like, they don't have the best rides, but they have a great atmosphere. And just upon walking in here, it is very lively. It's busy. There's tons of people around here. There's rides everywhere. It's cool. So, we're here on. On, uh, whatever pier this is that has the boomerang and uh, we probably won't be doing it but we're at least gonna walk around and then head up to one of the other piers. This right here is Sea Serpent. This was the first ever Vacoma boomerang to open up in the US. Pretty cool like right here in New Jersey. I know people always meme the Dumbo ride at Disney but this is just next level. I am not riding that. You should totally ride it alone and I should totally videotape it. No, I really don't want to. I'll make it happen. Looks like Great Nor'easter, the Vacoma SLC, will not open today. Which is unfortunate because since last time I was here, they actually completely retracked it. Everyone says it's now one of the smoothest SLCs out there, so I was hoping to see how it held up. But yeah, it looks like I'll have to come back another time and do it. You've got to be kidding me. There's two new roller coasters here i got to ride. One of them is an SPF Visa. And this is the line for it. It's spilling out on the midway. Oh my gosh. That's so dumb. You make me wait in the line. How about this? We'll skip it and we'll come back later. Because logically, as it gets later in the evening, the kids will start to leave. So, At least you acknowledge it's for kids. I know. Wow, this is absolutely packed. So right, right up here is the ghost ship, uh, one of the attractions that is not open. Sarah, what even is this? So ghost ship, it's like a, it's like a giant walkthrough, like haunted attraction thing. I've never actually done it, but I've heard it's pretty awesome. Is it scary? From what I've heard, kind of. Interesting. Yeah, well, nothing terrifying, but I mean, it looks really cool. Dang, it's like themed and everything. Closed for the season. More of a like a Halloween thing. It's a Halloween thing. I think so. I'm pretty sure it's open around Halloween, but I ain't mean, come back. Mm. <laughs> Comment section. How is this? Should I come back and do this at some point? <laughs> uh, I remember this thing. I think it's called like Rollies Coaster or something. The thing is that it has over-the-shoulder restraints, but it definitely does not need them. So I don't know. That's probably one we're gonna pass on. Cause why? Thank you! Oh my gosh. Welcome to the episode of the show where Sarah gets everything she wants. What the heck is this? You like fire this tank? And it's got like bullseyes on it? What? So weird! Wait, are there people there? One left. And you ate all of them. It's not even fun anymore. It just hurts. It just hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Crying into <Stop>! a <laughs> Alright, here's the real reason why we're here. We came to get hit in the face with a seagull. <laughs> That's my favorite activity at the shore. <laughs> yeah, so um, I don't know like when this video is going to get posted, but as of like maybe yesterday a video went viral on Facebook of someone riding this ride right here and a seagull just flies straight at her and they got it on film and it was hilarious. I need y'all to know that seagulls are wild at the shore. I They're wild. It. Yeah. You thought the Cedar Point trying to steal a fresh cut fry at Cedar Point was bad? Yeah. That's uh, some kindergarten. Shh, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our first ride is going to be Great White, not to be confused with Great White at SeaWorld San Antonio. Wait a minute, this isn't a B&M invert. I definitely thought you were going to get in its mouth, but this is pretty good too. You could totally fit in it. 
Time to go. Bye, Sarah. It was great knowing you. All right, guys, we're finally free. This is like a crazy optical illusion. Feels like these two rides are gonna like hit each other. Look at this. Like just the way that they cross. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> So great white. Let me tell you, we just did it in the back, and that was better than I remember. Much better. I don't say smooth. Right? It was smooth. It's yeah, perfect. I was very impressed. The pacing was really good. Like it was, it was hauling through the course. I mean, last time I did it was in the morning. So this is the first night ride. I tell you also the view. Oh, the view! I was about to say the view on the first drop is like one of the best, like ever. It's just so beautiful, especially right now we got a full moon and it is insane. Yeah, I like yeah. it. We should go again and do it in the front. I think you're right. So I guess someone threw up, and so they've been cycling this one empty for a while now, so our weight has like gone up significantly because it's basically been on one train operations. That's not great. <laughs> So we realized that we only have about 30 minutes till the park closed, so we opted instead for the second row as opposed to the front row uh, because the front row had a much longer line in with the delay. Uh, it definitely took longer than it should have, but overall, what do you think of the front? It's still fun. I prefer the back. Yeah. But the views were. The view there's okay. amazing. It's so and we have a full moon, like I said, so it's extra pretty tonight. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's not an airtime packed ride. I mean, there are a couple of hills there towards the end where you get a little bit, but I, I just think it has really great pacing. Like yeah. it is just flying through the course. That's what I like about it. So I think we're now gonna head over to uh, the pier on the far side. Uh, we not, don't know the name. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. The one that has the SLC that is not open. <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> it's crazy how much of a gap there is between these piers. Like there you can see Great Nor'easter. Like way down there is Sea Serpent. You can like barely see Great White. Here we go. So they've made several changes to this place since last time I was there. Uh, one of the notable ones is last time I was here they had a roller coaster called Flitzer. And there's actually one of several on the Jersey Shore, and to my understanding, they're all gone now. They've all since been removed, which is kind of crazy looking. So they've added this roller coaster here, and uh, I'm very interested in trying that out. Also, this is new. This, I guess, is like uh, flying scooters, and it's got like King Kong on it. Explain the theme for this ride. Yeah, so there's a tram car that runs up and down the Wildwood Boardwalk, and it has a really annoying audio that repeats, "Watch the tram car, please," over and over and over and over again, and it like haunts your nightmares if you vacation here or live here. And they literally theme the roller coaster to the tram car. They have a guy on the back, like a, a fake person hanging off the back. They're colored exactly the same, and the audio says, "Watch the tram car, please." Brilliant. That's hilarious. So that was actually like a really fun ride and a crazy twist. Uh, even though the sign said this thing wasn't open, it actually is. So uh, yeah, we got to put our stuff in the locker, but we're going to get to try it out. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but that was awesome. Never in our lives did we think we'd get off an SLC and be like, that was dope, let's do Guys, it again. Guys, we rode it again. Willingly. That was so good. It was yeah. smooth. It was like glossy smooth. Yeah, we said it was kind of like riding a B&M invert. Like it's, that was it's smoother smooth. than some B&M inverts. Yeah. Like, if anything, you know what this proved? It proved that the layouts are actually good. They 
Like, I never got with it, but I, like, no, I was it's a, execution was poor. Yeah, but. like, it has good trains, good restraints, and, like, the track work and profiling, My everything. thighs are intact. Yeah. My head is intact. I, I My couldn't believe it. My soul is intact. <laughs> like, that is, like, the best right here. Like, honestly, yeah. that, like, it's probably better than Great White. Like, that was so good. Like, also, twist, uh, also, Maury's Pierce lied to us. Uh, they aren't open till 11, they're open till midnight. And so. they also said that this ride wasn't open in. And it is, so. Yay! Inconsistent, but uh, yeah, so we might be able to do something else, but. Uh, if, but happy mistakes, no, like, nonetheless. Yeah, like, wow, I'm so glad that we were actually able to do this, because, like, man, it doesn't even come close to any other SLC I've ever done. Like, like most SLCs, I get off, and even like when people are like, oh, Thunderhawk at Michigan's Adventure, it's like, the smoothest SLC. No, I'm sorry, it sucked. This was, this was good. This was a good ride. I all fired up about a Macoma SLC. What is happening? If you haven't been to Maury's Piers, come out, ride this ride. Like, I don't know, it'll change your perspective about SLCs, so. Kentucky Kingdom, you're up next. <laughs> I remember when this ride, when they said that they were redoing it, because I got to do it before they redid it. I remember they said uh, on opening day, like their, their marketing tool was, it's so smooth your grandma can ride it. And so as like a marketing boy, they put a bunch of grandmas on it. And I was thinking, I'm like, I don't know about this. Like, what are, like, is it actually like that? But no, it is. It is actually that smooth. Gosh, I'm so impressed. And as an even added twist of irony of the rides that they listed that were closed for the day, it did not include Zoom Flume, so... Ah, uh, darn. Alright, since we can't do the flume, we're doing this thing. Looks like an old-timey dark ride. You know what this is? Neither do I. Hey, did you see what the ride operator looks like? Look at the ride operator. No, 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 up front. the warning uh, the park closes in less than five minutes which means we're gonna end it out with the great oh, nori sir. I just have to make a point about how weird the timing has been because they're like okay online it says 11 then we asked them and they said 12 and the five minute warning will put us at 11 45 so I'm very I, I don't get it I'm all. just thankful we got more time than we thought yes Yeah, I'm so glad that the park did not close at 11 and actually closed at midnight because we would not have had enough time. Thank you. How was that last ride of the night on Great Nor'easter? How would you say that? Lorotnagen? Something like that. I don't know. What? It was I, fabulous. It, it was good. Like, so much fun. I am completely floored by this ride. They're like, thank you for riding the Great Nor'easter. I'm like, no, thank you. Thank you, Maury's family, and thank you, Vacoma. Like, I, I don't know, man. The retracking, the trains, everything. Although I feel like I've lost a piece of my identity, like, because I just, I love hating on SLCs, I have, but I can't even hate them. I have hated SLCs like throughout my entire life. I'd never been a single SLC I liked until this. And I do this, and I'm like, I feel like a completely different person. I don't even know who I am anymore, dude. <laughs> if that isn't the biggest surprise of, I don't know. Our generation. It might be, yeah. The biggest <laughs> plot twist ever. Man, I feel like a changed human. Yeah. We're being a little it, it, we, we are, we're being way over the top, but no, it, ah, oh, man, I just can't get over that thing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Like it's not even like one of the best rides ever or anything. I just I just can't believe that it's We're like proud. that it, there's an SLC that's like actually good. Like, like yes. <laughs> finally. Oh we man. It. All right. That's going to do it from our evening here at Maury's Piers. Um yeah, it was a it was a good time. The park did not end up closing at midnight. It's not even midnight yet, but they shut everything down. I so, mean, I feel satisfied. I'm, yeah, no, we, we got on, we got on a, a lot of stuff. Uh, it was busy, so we weren't able to ride uh, maybe as many attractions as we would have liked, but that's we okay. We weren't able to ride it. Ride what? It? Oh. <laughs>
That's funny, right? <laughs> so funny. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to stay tuned for more Hair Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.